Yo, how's it going everyone? It's me, Tabo. And yeah, this is um this is an update on projects that I'm gonna be uh, creating as tutorials. So right here I've got a long list of yeah stuff that I have done. Um so the whole time that I have not been feeding my channel, this is what I've been busy with. So I haven't been just sleeping, you know, on the job. So um, the one project that I'm going to show you is robot. OK, I'm going to show you its evolution and how I just kept adding different things to it. It is quite simplistic. It's nothing. Uh, crazy but uh, it started out with this so this was me trying to illustrate how you can build something like of, of somewhat of a humanoid you know or a human like uh, figure using just plain 3js shapes so all of this is like literally just code you know like every single part of this and uh, these are just the geometries that this entire uh, figure is composed of okay so you can see the torus shapes and you've got your spheres and you've got your box geometry and you've got your cylinder cylinder for the legs as well so this whole thing has been composed of these shapes and so once i was done with that then i wanted to illustrate how we could incorporate somewhat of a user interface. And so I had an idea of using an SVG graphic that I once created. And so this is what the SVG graphic looks like, but the original form was like that because I had to modify it a bit just so that it looked more attractive. So this is it. So this is what it looks like, you know, in a 3D scene. Uh, it's kind of buggy because one thing that I've noticed is that when you load, I'm using CSS render. So when you come close, then it does something like this. Haven't quite figured out why that is, but yeah. So this is the user interface that I decided to use. So that's going to be the UI for my little, uh, yes, uh, user interface. That's the design. Okay, so from then on, uh, I went from that to this. That is, that would be now incorporating that into the project. And let's see, hard. Okay, this is kind of work in progress, as you can see. This is what that looked like. You know, I was still figuring out because how everything works is that this is just a plain SVG graphic and so i had to find out the, you know the, the the proper way of adding a canvas element which is going to be embedded in the svg graphic so it's going to be in this circular form you know so that when i highlight any of this then it will pop up here and okay one other aspect that i um forgot to show is yes highlight selected object as you saw the first time I showed you just the plane uh, this figure right so now it's just in wireframe but it's still the same figure and one aspect that I add was to highlight the selected object so this is a feature of that you can add to 3js if any of you are familiar with any 3d software you know that you know when you select an object then it has this line um that is highlighting to show that this is the selected object so this was also one aspect that i was adding but uh, it had nothing to do with the svg graphics necessarily it was just something that i wanted to know how to set up so i used it with this uh, project so uh then lastly then this is the final this is the final product so this is what it looks like and this is basically what you know my little ui looks like uh you can see it gives you information about the mesh here like the mesh type this is i mean the, the material type is the material mesh material uh, standard material and that's a cylinder geometry uh that is a box geometry so they all have mesh standard material on them 
and that's a torus geometry so you're getting all this information and feedback and one other thing that i also incorporated is um post processing uh like the different post processing that you can use in 3js so i used also this project to illustrate some of that so all of that will be coming i'll be doing tutorials on just specific uh post processing effects that you can use so that will be a lesson in and of itself but this is something that was incorporated in this project so when i create this i will then package it together so that it and it has all these different aspects in it so that will be the first of all creating the figure this this humanoid type figure or robot it looks like a bot and then afterwards will be the selection so you can see with each and every geometry that i select this is also updating so you can see that's a torus that's a sphere that's a cylinder that's a box so yeah all of that is in there and the information over here is updating as well as the the information on, on the transformation in space so the scale of the model rotation and its transformation and one yes and then you've got the different post processing um styles this is film shader so that's what film shader looks like and with bloom you can see it's got this glow type of effect on it and then dots so this is what dots look like and this is still working as well so it's basically updating on any object that is selected okay so if that is selected then that's what you get if that is selected then that's what you get you know so we've got our dot and then we've got a sobble sob it's it's a bit yeah it doesn't really show that well probably i would have to increase the light for it it's just that when i increase the light for that then the bloom was also a bit blown out but um yeah basically a sobble shader is almost similar to this but not quite though but you mainly just see the edges of your your geometry or your figure your geometric shape so yes um i just wanted to share this with you because uh yeah i'm planning on creating a tutorial for this so i will show you how all of this is done so i'll take you step by step and this was created in uh in uh what do you call this thing um uh, inkscape yes because well um i am a supporter of well open source software i think it's a great revolution and of course um yes if you can support them in any kind of way financially that that is also great you know because these guys are putting in a lot of work to provide us with this software that we can use for free and yeah we can do all kinds of creative stuff so yeah if one can give back then yeah that is always recommended you know so yeah so that is basically what the update is about. So yeah, I'll be creating a tutorial, I'll show you how to create this bot-like figure and then show you how to highlight the different parts of the body. Then we'll show you how to use SVGs as a UI. In this case, I'm not using CSS, um, what SVG renderer. Well, you can use actually there's this SVG renderer and there's a CSS renderer. Uh, CSS renderer is basically taking an HTML element and then uh, rendering it in 3D space. So you can rotate it just like a 3D element. So the nice thing about that is that you can always embed a SVG, an SVG graphic into an HTML element. So that works as well, but there's a specific SVG renderer, which is purely for SVG graphics. But yeah, don't want to um, give you too much information. So this is what the project will be like. So yeah, I look forward to it and uh, I hope you look forward to it too. So yeah, until then, love and peace. I'm out.